Imagine training for up to 20 weeks for a competition you've been gunning for just to find out it's been called off. Well, that happened to 120 some power lifters recently, but that's not the end of the story. Todd Gibson has more. Last one, suck it all in. Big Nick Hammer work. puts his client through an early morning workout. Finish, finish, a barbell finish, finish, strength finish. coach, this is Hammer's passion. Helping others is important to Hammer, so when a recent powerlifting contest was scrubbed due to the coronavirus pandemic, Hammer looked to save the event. Being face-to-face -face wasn't an option anymore. Uh, we went for an online option. Welcome to the Quarantine Open, where contestants were asked to submit videos of themselves doing the powerlifting basics of squat, bench press, and deadlift. Hammer didn't know what to expect. The response was far more than he ever could have imagined. Yeah, we initially just had like 60 people that were interested in doing it. It was a cool idea. And then it ballooned up to 176 lifters uh, in 38 states and four countries. They'll do it again. Hammer says another competition, Garage Wars, is already being planned for August. The success of the quarantine open making it an easy decision to relive the event. What's more, that initial online meet has seemed to embolden a few of the lifters. It was like a zero pressure situation. The camera was on and then the new we were watching, but uh, the pressure was so much lower and so many people that had done this event had said that they're looking forward to actually now taking the next step and doing an actual powerlifting contest sometime. The quarantine open was not just about the athletes striving to achieve a personal best lift. Proceeds from the event went to a good cause, benefiting nokidhungry.org. Every shirt that we sold contributed to 20 kid meals. So we actually raised, um, through the meat itself, we raised uh, about 4,000 meals. And then outside of that, I had uh, a couple of my clients and a few other people chip in more. We doubled that. We raised uh, almost 9,020 um, meals for kid, nokidhunger.org. From a canceled event to helping thousands of kids in need, now that is the way to turn a negative into a positive during these challenging times. What a great story and for a great cause and I guess it's time that I start training for the next event big eight pounder here all right guys for now reporting from my living room I'm Melissa Ray